all bundled up en route to the gym right now. Just eating, you know, a quick little bowl of oatmeal because I am actually really, really starving. And we're going to be doing some legs today. It is extremely, extremely windy outside. All you keep hearing is like these howling gusts of winds. Like, woo, woo. It's pretty intense out here. That's why I got, you know, my, my beanie on. But the show must go on. my head what that's nasty here's the thing this is what I don't understand if you're in a gym you're here right for activity for movement you're working out so wouldn't that mean throwing out your gum in the garbage would be something really simple to do people think just place it on the equipment came about the mud push the dirt up off me going hard hit him with it hurts kill him softly bunk straight come on keep pushing there we go almost oh, wait I've never done on this, that's so tough. You just got beat up by the way. Next one for your backwards. Alright, we'll see. Oh god, I'm falling down for that one. I'm so excited because a package just arrived in the mail from Arctic Zero and I want to first and foremost thank them for sponsoring this video but also for hooking your girl up with seven, and that's right, seven different ice cream flavors. I've never actually tried out this ice cream before, which is why I'm super pumped to taste all the different flavors. This ice cream is non-GMO, it's low in calories, there is no sugar, alcohols added, or any artificial flavorings. A lot of other ice creams tend to have erythritol, which is a sugar alcohol, and that's what they use to sweeten it. But instead, Arctic Zero uses organic sugar cane, which is a much healthier option. You can't go wrong with that. So without further ado, for the fun part. Oh, I have a brain freeze. My teeth are cold. <laughs> I need an intermission. So which one was your favorite? All right, I don't have like a number one favorite, but I categorize these three as like my top. Cookie and brownie dough, I like that one a lot. Cookies and cream was really flavorful. And toffee crunch, I've never had this flavor ever before. And I liked it. I think what I have to do though is to combine it with a little got? something something. Oh, you got Massive some apple pie in the fridge. Psst. Pro tip guys, if you have any pie laying around in your fridge or in the house, heat it up. It goes great with ice cream. What are your favorite toppings to put on ice cream? Do you like whipped cream, sprinkles? I have lately been on a fix of this pumpkin flavored whipped cream. I don't know if it's because it's fall and October just passed, but it tastes really good. I'm gonna add a little bit of my ground cinnamon because, you know, it just gives a nice little spice flavor. Ooh, oh, this is so good. Oh my God. Delicious. Ooh, I'm ready. All right, it's snowing, and we're gonna go out for the first time of the season. And I'm trying to warm up because you know it's a tad bit cold outside. Woo! All right, so first thing, gotta get the blood flowing. Ah! Who remembers all the other times I did this last year? A little nervous, you know, it's like that first time out the gate, get those butterflies going. It'll wake you up, right? Oh, yeah. Woo! Freezing cold, that's how we already know. Oh yeah? Okay. What can yeah. you do? I can eat a lot of food right now. Oh, you're hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. That burns some calories, all right. Oh, there you are, my little munchkin. Oh. Hey, warm her up. Mm, I love you. You should have some like warm tea. Hot <gasps> cocoa. I'm not a big cocoa fan. No? I always would just eat the marshmallows out of it and never end up drinking the cocoa. Float your boat. You thought about it and then was like, nah. Saying you gross. Hey. Oh! I'm your girlfriend, don't forget. He basically said brush your teeth. My friend told 
don't smell. No, it doesn't. Reggie, her breath stinks. You need a breath man. Aw, see, he loves me. Oh, <laughs> fancy seeing you here. So, well, I got you. I want to kind of show you guys. You took a nice mass of dookie in there. <laughs> what? Anywho, now that I got your attention, I wanted to do she a little. She took a me. Oh my god, no, I didn't. I, I didn't it. even flush a toilet. And no, you did your food and you didn't wash your hands? Bro, I didn't I go to the bathroom. It. This was like a, like a little transition. So it's been a while since I vlogged and kind of showed a lot of the house. We have been under construction in the whole entranceway and upstairs in the hallway. And so I kind of want to do a little update, show you guys. There's a lot of wallpaper. And as much as wallpaper used to be the style, it was very dark and like floral and green. And we just wanted a change, freshen it up. Pretty much everything's done except the doors upstairs have to be painted. It looks beautiful. Let me get, let me, get a little, so let me. What? <gasps> Here we go. So for me personally in houses, I love like really light colors, white walls. This we went for kind of like a light grayish at first. We painted it, it looked super babyish blue. So we got a new color. We went with this, I love brightness. It just makes me feel good. So that's what's going on here. We have these really pretty lights that we can adjust, you know, dim it, get it nice and bright. This mirror, we didn't buy a new one, which was great. We were able to just paint it, keep it with the really light white theme. New chandelier, another mirror over here, a little bench, you know, sit, put your shoes on in the morning or whatever time of day it might be. We tried keeping little, like very mi mi minimalistic. Yes, that's the word. We had a lot more furniture before, but we want to keep it Nice and kind of empty, simplistic. So we have this, we could put, you know, whatever little knickknacks we need to put away. Go on upstairs. Woo! All right, so we have a new chandelier here. Lots of crystals because, you know, we gotta be extra in life. We have this new little thing in my bottle. What do you call it? So, uh, shade. Shade, yes, that would be the right word. So we could lift it up and down. Before, we used to have curtain run with curtain just hanging. That will always fall off. Yes, this is true as well. So that's a lot better. The light fixtures here. We have this little canvas. Let me know what you guys think. You feel the wallpaper better or this new and improved look? That's going to conclude this little mini hallways. Because you know, multiple hallways is a tour. <laughs> guys, we're on a very secretive mission right now. Retrieval of the whitening strips. Picked up some whitening strips. I was like, hey, you know, let me whiten these bad boys. And what did I do? I decided to stick them, you know, on top of there. Who would have thought it's just a cabinet? Wait, Giovanni, we'll be right out. <laughs> so I placed it over here and all of a sudden I heard a big loud sound. Apparently there's a nice two inch gap right here and the whitening strips currently are sitting down there which is at all the way at the floor. This should be both fun and quite interesting. So what are we using here? String that's gonna go baboomski. It's gonna go baboomski. Baboomski behind the wall. So we need to bring the drill in the bits. We're gonna make a gadget so we can plunge the make-believe person behind the wall and uh, pick up your, uh, your teeth. Where are we gonna work? Complete disaster. This is what's gonna get thrown behind the wall. We're gonna wrap it in tape. Now for phase two, we must assemble the gadget to use the apparatus to maneuver the teeth whitening strips. Bull tack, bull tack, bull tack adhesive spray. Transparent, permanent, or temporary. <laughs> Giovanni, you're coming in too. This is a party. How many people can we fit in the bathroom? Silly, it's disgusting. The vacuum, I mean, the echo uh, can't even speak. This looks so funny right now. Inspection. <laughs> Nothing else to do but look for teeth. I have identified the source. Yeah, there's the baby. It's all by herself. See I see it. She's there. Hang in there. The eagle has landed. Drop this baby in. Made contact with the enemy. It's not the enemy, but yeah, fine. Moving on to the sticky tack because the tape just wasn't enough, so spritz, spritz. Oh, God. No, it won't go down. We're having a little bit of an issue. It's too sticky now, so now it won't touch the actual teeth whitening package. It's touching the wall. Oh, oh, oh. Don't breathe. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We did it. Thank 
you, Dad. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, another rescue. Mission accomplished. So you wiped in my quick neck, quick neck, quick neck. Late night Costco run going down. It is currently like 7:30 and they close in an hour, but I kind of feel like it's a good thing because it forces you to just like stay direct, stay on your, you know, list. Oh my God. Yo, you might be the same size. This is an example of me getting distracted. I feel like it's actually sometimes better to come to a store, like a grocery store, right when it's gonna close because it forces you to stay focused, get all the things you have on your list, and not look around like me and then end up buying so many more things that you don't actually need. So, in light of it being almost Thanksgiving next week, it's coming up actually in a few days, we have a food shopping list to be ready to shop right. Now we are doing Costco, the more bulkier items, getting some fruit. Just uh, sparkling minimal water. Yeah, we're going to work those muscles. <laughs> My muscles are sore. Work hard, play hard, keep part of it. I'm breaking the soy right now. Ugh. Do we need paper towels? I think so. Who forgot the pen? My heart's beating really fast now. Who, Who forgot the pen? Yeah. Pen? I forgot the pen. So you got a list with no so pen. So I'm mentally checking the items off. Head. Yeah. So if you don't check it off, it never happened. You're right there. You seem lost. I am lost. They, I think they literally moved this entire. Yeah, Costco. I feel lost too. They changed the whole cost around. Go to like a place and then like everything's out of whack. And like, uh, Yo, that's the little technique. You know, I watched this YouTube video on like fun facts about Costco, and one thing to let you guys know, it's not on this one, but if you see like a little asterisk star, that means this item may not be restocked anytime soon. So you wanna. You know, buy a few because it might be a while until you see it again. Interesting. Fun fact of the day. Just when you thought you're almost done, we are now having a little situation because we can't find the whipped cream. We are on a whipped cream hunt. You would think it would be in the dairy section, but no. It is now moved and we can't find it. Rainbow cookies. What a smart invention. Yeah, this could be dangerous. Quick question. What's your favorite baby? But what would we put on it? Like, what would we put that on? I know you dip bread in oil and then put this on the bread. This is such a steal. Like, if you really love P.F. Chang's like I do, you might as well get this for 80 bucks and you get an extra $20. Like, that's another meal. That's right so there. logical. That's a lot of chicken. Fried rice. And never go wrong with some Bia Chang's, right? Oh my god, so good. Well, we have a lot of stuff in this cart. I know, man, it's heavy. We made it just in time. They're closing in two minutes. Alright, this Look is at how we that. Work. That was an efficient job, I must say. Get it back! Get it! Hey, 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 Creepy looking way. Room that they fear right now. Hey girl, what it do do? If you got friends, cool, bring a few too. No fun if the homies can't have none. R.I.P. Nate Dogg, shit is too true. 